So, dudes, this video is sponsored by Apex Gaming. Get yourself a gaming PC that can run Rainbow Six Siege upwards of 144 frames, easy peasy, and help support the Gregor Gaming experience. Check out the link in the description. Okay, I know this video is late, but is it really though? The patch isn't even out yet at this point. I'd say with Crimson Heist, the operator balancing changes we're getting are significant, but not numerous. There are big changes being done to a small number of operators. Kali got buffed quite a bit. Blackbeard got nerfed quite a bit. And a number of operators lost their frag grenades and got this thing in the place of it, which will touch on that point when we get to it. First of all, Kali is getting some of her viability back after getting nerfed pretty hard not too long ago. And I'm really glad that Ubisoft demonstrated their capacity for listening on this particular topic. It does matter when you guys give Ubisoft feedback as long as you're not being a jerk about it. Basically, Kali's rifle was nerfed to a degree in the previous patch that made it possible for Maestro players with an Alda to wide swing her and win a free gunfight provided they didn't get shot in the head by a gun that goes bang, chick, chick, bang. Obviously, one player is favored over the other in this engagement highly for no particular good reason so ubisoft has modified cali's op once again cali's op will down three and two armors and kill one armors with body shots provided that the one armor is wearing rook armor they will be able to tank that one body shot from the op and go into down but not out two armors and three armors with rook armor will be able to tank that body shot without going into down but not out which is obviously a pretty big buff to rook i like this change a lot because it makes the usage of cali an arrangement that's more fair Kali sacrifices a lot by not having a fully automatic primary, let alone an op in a game with a fast T to K as Siege that has one-shot headshots on top of that. There just wasn't really a lot of incentive to bring Kali over Maverick in situations where Thatcher got banned because her fighting capabilities were so much worse in comparison. Now Kali retains a presence as a highly skill-based character aim-wise. I think that getting down by a gun like Kali is fine. She has to be in a particularly advantageous position to get the follow-up shot. So if you're playing too aggressively, you get punished. But as a sniper, she trades off aggressive viability for defensive capability. It also solves the matter of, well, there's no particularly effective way to counter Kali in terms of operators selection so now there are more reasons to bring her up next up is my favorite operator blackbeard <laughs> i have hated blackbeard ever since he was introduced to the game and i've never really understood the thought process behind him even being in the game at all that being said the shield is getting nerfed from 50 damage to destroy to 20 damage to destroy which is basically one bullet which is still one more bullet than it takes to headshot anyone else in this game Additionally, the Mark 17 CQB, which was already a bad gun to begin with, is getting its damage nerfed from 49 to 40, which is a huge step down from its original output. One issue I've had with the shield isn't just that it makes Blackbeard a powerful force against anyone in gunfights with conventional weapons, but also against shotguns. Shotguns in particular are already a bit of a gamble to use, and there are so many wrong ways to use it that giving this guy the ability to tank a shell from a smoke or a mute and make them have to wait to fire again gives him so many freebies that it puts me on the brink of vomiting. I would like it if Blackbeard was just reworked entirely. Maybe he could put down a piece of mobile cover like a deployable shield for attackers or something in that vein. Until then, I'll take anything that I can get. Let's get to the first operator in these patch notes that is getting the Gone 6. Dekevi, in place of her CZ-75. This is something that console players I know are particularly upset about, because the SMG-12 is nigh impossible to use on console. The easiest solution to this would be giving Dekebi the ability to use all three of these options. I have a number of issues with the GON-6, all of them having to do with it just not being enough. There are some operators that can make do with it being added to their kit options, like Zero. I think it suits him pretty well. But Dekebi just seems a strange place to consider opting for it. With the Mark 14 as your only fighting weapon, you're going to be very limited in close range fights where the SMG-12 could help with that. She's also getting her frag grenades taken away again and can't seem to win on this particular front. I don't blame Dekebi players for getting frustrated here. Stun grenades will be fine with her, but it seems that the Gon 6 is Ubisoft's answer to the utility meta and they are trying to avoid giving operators frag grenades just solely for their ability to deal with utility because they can also be used to kill enemies. But it's a frag grenade. That's kind of what it does. It's multifaceted. I think UB just hates frag grenades. I don't know what they want to do with them. I hope they find a balance with them someday. Finca, who sucks, is getting the Gon 6 in place of frag grenades as well, which is even more confusing because 
Well, the only thing she had going for her at all was her killing power. Honestly, if they just got rid of the stupid recoil changing aspect of her gadget, I wouldn't have any issues with her. But I'm willing to bite the bullet on this debate and say that losing frag grenades in place of a Gon 6 is a nerf. At least until the Gon 6 gets some more ammo or something. And Finca didn't need a nerf. She needed a buff. Mozzie is getting a slight nerf. I hesitate to even call it a nerf. I don't even think it's going to be statistically perceptible. Basically, drones will be able to know how close they are to the Mozzie pests now, giving the drone user a little bit more information in terms of avoiding it. The radius of the pest's usefulness isn't getting changed. It's just that drone users won't have to gamble as much with the whole game of, okay, so the pest is over here. I think I can finesse it by going just outside here. Nope. I'm going to continue putting my Mozzie pests in the same place as I always have. The intel denial aspect of the gadget is still very strong. Speaking of intel denial on attack, Nuck got a huge buff. Her gadget, at least on the TS right now, this is still up for debate whether or not it's going to get implemented on the live build ever, but it certainly is not coming at the start of Crimson Heist. Ubisoft said in these patch notes they are not adding this in the initial Crimson Heist patch. But in the current iteration of the test server, Nuck will not trigger proximity-based gadgets. This includes Elamines, Malusi Wubs, Capkin Whammy Wires, Prox Alarms, and Metal Detectors. Huge change. It gives her so much more flexibility and makes her a very good character to play as an individual, so pretty good in solo queue. It makes her much more self-reliant and less of a niche pick. Unfortunately, I didn't get that much time to play her on the test server before the queue times died, but I'd love to see how this gets explored in the future. Twitch is losing her stun grenades in place of smoke grenades to mitigate her killing potential, which I just, I don't know if I agree with this 100%. The FAMAS is already a shadow of its former self. You can certainly use it effectively. It's just one of the few guns in the game with a significant amount of recoil at all. I've never had a problem with Twitch's fragging potential because ever since the drone has been nerfed considerably, that's really been the only thing she has left. So taking away her ability to gain map control by flushing people out of tight spots with stun grenades kind of confuses me. I think that smoke grenades suit her 417 more. Smokes will be nice to cover plant on occasion, but I think now I'm just going to stick to breaching charges almost exclusively uh, and play vertical control. And the G36 got a recoil buff because people needed some reason to pick the R4C over the G36. I already use the G36 anyway, just because I like the angle grip, but this is a nice quality of life change for new Ash players. And that's Crimson Heist in terms of operator balancing. These are just my opinions, though. Let me know what you think of these changes in the comments, and stay tuned for more Rainbow Six Siege content. Streams at the blah, 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 this, this is the links. You want to you watch, watch them? Go to get, get, get check description. Okay. Just... <laughs>